All right, so we've just completed the feed cost tab, and now we're ready to move on to the livestock cost tab. Okay, the livestock cost tab is pretty straightforward, and these should be kind of a catch-all category for all the other expenses associated with your live with your cow calf business. So you look up here, and and first off, we'll have vet medicine. You can split that out into preventative or treatment costs, or however you'd like to do it, or you can just lump it. Uh, if we look into our ranch description here. We get down into the cow-calf business costs, and it looks like this ranch just lumped it. We've got $3,500 there, so we'll plug that number in as $3,500, okay? Now, replacement heifers. Here's where we're going to purchase some heifer calves from our stalker business, okay? So uh, bear with me here. We're going to buy 40 replacement, uh, replacement heifers, and uh, we're going to see what the cost of those are. So... Scrolling down here into the, we're gonna have to go look in our stalker business for this. Okay, heifer calves are purchased from the cow calf business on November one, and to make this easy, we just used a November one to November one to November one year. So we purchased those heifer calves at one hundred and twenty dollars at four hundred and seventy-five pounds. Now, you, just to remind you, go back here into our gross income tab. And we sold these heifer calves from our cow calf business. We sold 166 of them. And they weighed 475, and we valued them at a buck 20. Okay, so that's where these purchases come from. Okay, six of them died at the end of the year. We had 160 of them, and they averaged eight weights, and we sold them for a buck 10. Okay, so the cow calf business is going to buy our bred heifers out of these 160. Okay. So again, we look at here, the heifers are exposed to breeding in the summer. Heifers are sold from late summer to fall, depending on available grass. And the cow-calf businesses purchase these needed replacements from the stalker business, and the remainder are sold. So that's what we're going to pay for these things, is at 800 pounds and a buck ten. Okay, so let's go back in here. And how many of them did we need? Uh, I just, just forgot how many of them we were going to buy. We're going to buy 40 of them, okay? So our replacement heifer costs... Okay, we're going to buy 40 of them, and instead of cost of developing heifers, we're going to say cost of bred heifer. Okay, and remember these were 800 pounders at a buck ten, I believe, $880 per replacement heifer. That's what we're going to pay for them. $880 per replacement heifer is what we're going to pay for them. And uh, that's a pretty good deal for a for a bred heifer, especially this year when as I'm recording this. So uh, it's the same value that we sell these for as stockers, but we're just buying our bred heifers out of our stockers. Okay, so now we're ready to keep going down through our livestock business, our fuel costs on the ranch. Again, we talked about how to split that out with the different enterprises. The cow calf business is going to be responsible for three thousand dollars of that total fuel bill. Our livestock supplies two thousand eight hundred. Our utilities, again, the the cow-calf business is going to be responsible for $1,200 of our total utility costs on the ranch. Uh, we're not paying any trucking. Let's assume we're selling these uh, all of our cattle at the ranch. Um, that's probably not very true. We should think about coal cows and those types of things. But in the values I'm looking at, we're not paying any trucking. In terms of marketing costs, we're paying $1,000. That's pretty light. We must be ignoring some things there. On our bull depreciation for the total herd, okay, this ranch is going to pay seven thousand five hundred dollars for bull depreciation. So what we're looking at, if the purchase price of a bull, let's say you paid thirty five hundred for a bull, and we sold that bull for a thousand dollars salvage value, okay. So essentially, the depreciation for that bull is going to be the purchase price minus the sale price. Um, spread out over the number of years. So if, if we have $2,500 per bull, and, and let's say we had to buy three bulls that year, okay, then our total bull, to, uh, bull value is going to be the $7,500. So if somebody gave you a check for $7,500 plus the salvage value of these three bulls, which would be about a $1,000 a piece on this year that we're using it, the question is, would you be able to go out and buy your needed replacement bulls for that? So if the answer is yes, then we've got that bull depreciation figured in pretty well. Okay, So $7,500 per bull in depreciation costs. Uh, other breeding costs, such as AI, etc. Looks like this ranch has $1,000 there. Hired labor for beef cows. 
this ranch is going to say we have $8,000 in hired labor costs that the cow-calf business is going to pay. All right, operating note. Here's where we get in. If, if you want to include an operating loan that you have that supports the cow-calf business, you can put it there. Another important thing to look at is if you look at your cow herd inventory, okay, and, and if we want to include all opportunity costs, essentially we've got about $370,000 invested in this cow herd. So we could make the argument that we could liquidate this cow herd and invest that money in some other type of investment and make a return on that money. So you could, in here in livestock costs, put in $370,000 realizing that's what we have invested in our cow herd, and say we'd expect a 5% return on that money uh, in a year. So essentially, we should expect a $18,500 return on that money that's invested in that cow herd. And this would be an opportunity cost to the cows of the money that's invested in that cow herd. Okay? Most folks are probably not going to include that. I'm going to let you make your own decision there as to, as to what you want to do with that money. I realize there's some tax advantages to owning cows, and perhaps uh, that, 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 that's uh, how you're going to justify not including that. Uh, but if you are wanting to compare all opportunity costs on your cow herd, then I do encourage you to put that in there. So, so if we've got the livestock tab done, uh, it looks like our total livestock costs on the ranch are $63,000 or about $194 per cow, or about $38 per hundredweight of steer calf. So again, that uh, $1.25 steer calf that we're looking at, we've already spent, if we look at our feed costs, we've spent $62, $62 of, of that $125 on feed costs, and now we've spent another $38 on livestock costs. So all we have left to do is our overhead. So now we're ready to move on to our overhead tab.